about to make some tea and I'm gonna make it in a teapot. So I wanted to show you guys how I do my tea. Tea is the highlight. Oh my God. The teapot that I wanna use is all the way up here. <laughs> Why do I set myself up for this type of failure? Great, great. Sorry guy downstairs. I said I was gonna take a bath and I cleaned out the bathtub and everything and I didn't even do it. I just took a shower. But like I exfoliated and did the whole thing though, so. Yeah. I still feel good about that. I love exfoliating. All right, so I have this teapot. Excuse me, sweetheart. Yes, teapot. Um, shout out to my friend who got me a gift, which was this Soul Glow Tea. If you want to support a black owned business, tap in. Um, so, so, so good. This one is the Good Rest one. So it has like valerian stuff that like really helps relax your body and is good for sleep. So have that. And then I heated up my kettle. Whoopsie, I spilled. So. Yeah, I used to have a little cup for it. A little teacup that came with this set. But I accidentally broke it and I was devastated. I made a mess. I clean all day. Like throughout the day I'll be cleaning because the second it becomes nighttime, I don't want to clean anything. I do not want to do the dishes at night. Like it's just not, it's a daytime activity. Unless like I cook or something, then I'll definitely do that if I cook. Why is this flashing? What is this? I don't need any alerts. Have you ever, have you ever been in love? But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna let this steep for, it's 9.08, I'm gonna let it steep for about, 9.09 now, okay. I'm gonna let it steep for about five minutes. Well, three minutes, actually. Five, so I'm gonna make sure. She also had some honey, so I've been using this, as you can tell. I also have some more honey in like, agave in here, so. Fear not. How cute also is this little jar? Super cute. Set out and ready to go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay, I forgot to take it out at three minutes. So it's been in there for four minutes. I have to count. Y'all know I'm slow. Well, where are my teacups? I guess I'll do this one. A cute little teacup. Tea time around here is a real deal, okay? I have this cute teacup. I have a teapot full of tea. I need to use a little of the honey. Here, let's get this close up for you. Get this close up for you, my friend. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I need to drop with the accent, but I can't help myself. Okay, I can be quiet. The other day, me and my friend were sitting up on our my rooftop area, and they have like a grill and stuff up there. And this guy was like making food, and we were like, oh wow, it smells so good. And he was just like asking us questions and stuff. And he was saying how him and his wife just moved here from England, and obviously he had an accent. And um, then after we start, stopped speaking to him, me and my friend were just talking to each other. And the way that we talk to each other, we always be doing accent that accent. <laughs> and I was like, that's lovely to her. And then we just kind of were like, damn. We are those people, I'm so sorry. Like, it looks like I did that because of, you know, just experiencing his accent. He probably was like, stupid bitch. I didn't say that too. Like, it was like, we stopped talking to him and we started, you know, talking to each other and he just happened to still be out there and we were doing accents to each other back and forth. And I was like, mm. Yummy, that's perfect. The teapot itself, it's like, I think it's ceramic, so it doesn't really hold heat inside very long, like a traditional pot. Well, I think, no, traditional pots I think are ceramic, or I don't even know anymore, I should know that. Like, I didn't work at a tea store for like, hella. But yeah, I know it's not one of the original teapots that basically will keep it hot, so. Not to be like, quick, but kind of like, quick. Cheers! You see, I have like my candle over there, and I finally hung something up, by the way. I'm also listening to some music right now. I was watching a bunch of Drewski videos. He's so funny. Coming back to say that this is my second cup, cup number two. And um, does this have passion uh, flower in it? Uh, it has chamomile and valerian, which really do it. I thought it had like blue vervain and 
passion flower and all that i was like yo i'm about to be crazy this is gonna be fine i mean this can still take you there either way because valerian is that girl the first time i ever had passion flower i completely hallucinated and i'll never forget that i was literally hearing like this like squeaky ass sound and i was convinced i had a rat in my, like a mice like a mouse or something like a mice and i had just moved into that apartment like it was like a new apartment and i was like something's in here so i remember i got up and i was looking all around my bed and stuff trying to find like what the hell that sound was, I was literally hearing like a little like ee! like it was like a little squeak sound and i was so stressed out there's a possibility that honestly maybe there was like a little bug somewhere in there but like i literally moved so much stuff around in my room because i already didn't have that much in my room because y'all know i'm a minimalist so i didn't have that much stuff in there and i was like i'm not finding literally anything but i just keep hearing this weird ass sound and all I'm saying is the only thing that was unique about that night is that's the first night I was trying passion flower. When I did before I did my research on it, first of all, passion flower is a natural sedative and it also helps with like relaxation and sleep. But if it's made too strong, you know, you know. My ass was like, well, I'm gonna push it to the limits because I'm for some reason different and it won't affect me that bad. Like it won't be that bad. Wrong. I was tripping. Okay gotta be careful but um am i willing to push the limits like that again possibly i'll be getting herb drunk okay it's amazing because at the end of the day it's literally not bad for you i mean it depends what you're doing it depends how much of it that you are doing ever since that day though i've never had passion flower strong and alone ever again but i do have a sleep tea that i created that has some of it in there and it's chef's kiss i came up with like a, a bunch of teas because my first business idea was i wanted to have my own tea line and so i had like an energy tea and i had a tea for like colds and being sick and i had one for like immune support and then i had one for sleep yeah I think I, I think those are just the four because I wanted to start with four. They were really good actually. I tested my cold sick one when I was I had a cold and I was sick, literally just to see if it would work. I oh I also had one for like like a detox, like if your stomach was upset or whatever. It's so crazy. I know so much about that stuff, man. I gotta one day, y'all, I'm gonna have a tea company again and it's gonna be beautiful. But I just don't have time for that right now at this point because that's a lot of stuff a lot of work i'm gonna do some yoga because my neck hurts i need to stretch i haven't stretched my back in a while so i'm gonna do a little bit of yoga continue to listen to my music and drink my tea and uh yeah mm -hmm. back from the gym and i never take y'all with me when i go to the gym and it's so weird for me because like i used to film in the gym once upon a time but now i feel weird when i do that oh <gasps> you could totally see all up in my closet that's crazy that's crazy but um it's not anything crazy y'all know i'm such a organized freak anyway yeah so i just got back from the gym i was in there for like two hours just doing shit having a time listening to music nobody else was in there either so it was like perfect oh as always because that's my new routine i built i think now i've been doing this for about mm, 
I want to say a little over a week where after I work out, I immediately make myself go on a walk. I usually just set out, like I don't set a crazy expectation for myself because I'm just starting. So I'm trying to naturally work it in my routine. So honestly, sometimes I'll just set out to be like, we could just do like a lap around like the area, which I think that is like about a mile. Um, and like, that'll be all. But sometimes I get a little bit more, you know, last time I went on a walk, the day before yesterday, because my rest day, I didn't do that. But the day before yesterday, I went on a walk for about, I want to say an hour. And I was just literally walking around places. But I was also walking through like some very suspect areas. So I got to keep my P's and Q's alert. Yeah, so I'm going to take y'all with me on this little walk. Um, I'm just planning on doing a little lap because I haven't had anything besides breakfast. And it's like 3 o'clock. I'm going to just do a quick walk around and then come back so that I can make myself something to eat or even think about what I want to eat on my walk because yeah so let's go how it like these spaces are all, it's always want to be ashy I literally did I just put lotion on no I just washed my hands um it, this is what I wore today in the gym but um uh, when I go on a walk in this outfit, a lot of creepy people be staring at me. So I'm going to put on some sweats. What did I wear last time? I think I put on like these sweatpants last time. <sighs> yeah, I wish I could just honestly go. I mean, I could just go, but I don't really like that attention of like, mm. I don't know if I've already said this story, but basically, uh, I think last week when I went on like my first really long walk to this park, um, this man was in his car and he stopped by me and I had my earphones in listening to my music, whatever. So I really couldn't hear, but he like stopped his car and then traffic started to back up. And I was just like, oh great. He's literally yelling out of the window at me. Like I can see. So I just like paused my music just to hear. And he was just like going on and like talking and he was just like, you look really good. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, thanks. You know, have a nice day and just kept going. And then he just continued to basically be talking and was like, stay blessed twin, stay blessed twin. I was like, okay out of my fate like go it was crazy cars were like also staring at me i was like oh great some girl was also walking by was looking at me i was like ha, ha, just a wonderful day in my weird little life and then another day that i was wearing these shorts i did a little walk and i was like not really having a good day either in general and i was walking around this corner a man was in his car and i could see him in his minivan look at me break his neck look at me like that and i just immediately changed my turn like i was like i'm not gonna walk down that street actually i'm walk down a different street that's just like i don't know it's the it's the pains of being a woman okay because i'm not wearing things because i want attention like i literally worked out in this and i just decided to take a walk and men be thinking that this is a time for talking and it's not and sometimes like i don't care like sometimes i have days where i'm just like i don't give a fuck entirely like i'll ignore people whatever but lately i don't know i've just not been like that like lately i've just been more like i don't want to bring any attention to myself whatsoever so let me just put on some sweatpants or some leggings or something and go about it that way i don't got time for nothing people are creepy and i've like ran into a lot of creepy stuff living here i've ran into so much weirdo activity i should do a story time okay remind me to do a story time on the day that i don't i'm, I'm pretty sure i haven't said it that ha what happened at my last apartment when i was on the bottom floor yeah i'm gonna do a story time on that it was completely insane so yeah i just a lot of weirdo activity in the city and um mm-hmm I think I've also been realizing, like, I'm not really a city girl for real. I'm a suburban girly. That's where I need to be residing. I thought I could do the city life. And Portland's not even, like, a real city to me. Like, it's not really city city, so I don't know if that's what makes it worse or what. But for a second, it was just like I could have just walked on the treadmill for a little bit. But since the sun is out, I guess I will go outside for a little bit since it's sunny so yeah i'm gonna get dressed put some sweatpants on and my shoes and get ready to go and then i'll see y'all when we leave also i've been drinking a lot of water today and probably gonna have to go to the bathroom y'all <laughs> i'm so tired <gasps> i'm sleepy i'm always sleepy though this light is not 
I don't know. It'd be making me look yellow, I feel like. Anyways, put my sweats on. Don't put my shoes on. Keep that thing on me. And, um, yeah, let's go on our walk. I need to take these braids out today i put a reminder in my phone in my calendar so like a month from when i did them i would know to take them out because usually i'll just keep redoing them and keeping them in my hair um so today's a month and i'm like it's time for them to go because they are struggling indeed and i know that i just haven't really cared <laughs> i'd be in my house i don't know i think i'll just redo a couple of the bad ones and keep it going i know precious no you should not be doing that but Oh, wait, am I tripping or did the light warm up and it's like not orange anymore? Because when I first started this, I felt like it was like orange. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's a nicer day than I thought it was. Way nicer day than I thought it was. Y'all, I came out in a North Face with some sweats. Uh, it's hot. Okay. Like, should I just walk back and put my jacket in my car? <sighs> no, because I don't want people standing on my booty. <laughs> ah! Whatever. I just gotta open the jacket, keep it open, get a little bit of air. Cause I know the second that I take this jacket off, I would immediately be cold. Anyways, let me shut the fuck up and go on my little walk and listen to my little music. <laughs> <laughs> 